Howdy doody, buckaroonies. As you may or may not know, there are two kind of rival dojos in the world of synthesis, East Coast and West Coast. Much like Team Edward and Jacob, people love to fight about which one is better, but we won't be doing that here today in the comments because I assume we all have better things to do with our lives and we all know that Edward was just objectively hotter. Are you talking about Twilight? Because Jacob was definitely hotter in the movies. Team Edward all the way when it comes to the books though. You know nothing about Twilight? Hashtag Team Edward, hashtag I'm out of here. Right. In this video here today, we'll be taking a look at the sparkling hottie with a body that is Newfangled Audio's Generate Synthesizer. This is a West Coast style synth VST that has a lot of cool features under the hood and has MPE support, making it really fun to play with for dynamic and very expressive patches. And it's actually one of my favorite synths currently for cool cinematic sound design. So we'll be taking a look at using it in practice to create cool cinematic compositions. For more information about Generate or its free sibling Pendulate, you can check out the link down in the description below. Before we get into all that, that, though it's probably important to first define what West Coast synthesis is and what makes it different. In your typical subtractive synthesizer, which would be East Coast synthesis, we have some waveforms and we pass those through different things like filters, and that changes the sound by subtracting from it and out comes the final sound. Now, West Coast synthesis is based around the same idea, just kind of in reverse with additive synthesis. But this isn't additive synthesis in the way we typically think of it with like an additive synthesizer with a bunch of sine waves to create new sounds, but rather a process that is additive on top of a basic waveform to shape it, mold it, freak it out, and spit out something entirely different, and it's a lot of fun. Generate is kind of like a standard West Coast synthesizer, but with a few unique twists, including the cool chaos generators, with there being multiple modes of these things, and some fun wave folders. It's also got a suite of effects, a ton of different modulation options, and because it has MPE support, it takes all these things up to insanely expressive new levels, and it is a lot of fun to sit down and play around with. With all that out of the way, let's hop in and check out Generate. So the million dollar question, what is this thing and what does it do? This is Generate and by default, it sounds like this. Which is just a bunch of sine waves. Now, why is this interesting? Generate works around the idea of taking this basic waveform and turning it into something else. So I've got the stereo width down to zero so we can just hear this quickly. Let's start adding some chaos. Now let's change the shape. Let's animate it a little. Let's add some sub oscillators. Let's change the tuning of the chaos here. Let's use the oscillator sync to make that more obvious. Let's change the generator type. And I think you get the idea, and that alone is really powerful because we can also modulate any of these things in a modular way, which is crazy. We can assign envelopes, LFOs, we can do expression, and because it's MPE, we can also make these note independent, allowing us to really morph the sound in a very fun and easy way. Now, as if this wasn't enough, we can use our wave folders, mix them in, and start driving this up a bit. Let's add some folds. Change the symmetry, change the type, maybe modulate this a little bit. Modulation is super easy. We click the thing we want to use to modulate and then target it by just adding a little bit here. We've got a standard low pass gate here. We've got a filter. We've got a sequencer here and we've got our other modulation sources. So to flip this into MPE, we can just click MPE and start assigning stuff. Let's assign the timbre to the cutoff frequency and maybe the drive amount. 
back off the LFO, maybe increase the folds with the timbre control uh, pressure or aftertouch. We could change the chaos shape and amount of animation. Let's change the generator to vortex and see what we get with a basic MPE patch. <laughs> Because this supports MPE, we can just click MPE to access that. We can assign the pressure or aftertouch. We can assign the timbre controls. I've done this here. So we can take a pretty basic patch and add a lot of expression by just using the various axes of MPE. We also get a couple basic effects here. We have just a standard EQ, which is great to shape the sound a little bit, we get a really smooth sounding chorus. A nice standard delay. Maybe filter that a touch. Add some modulation and a really, really lovely reverb. Generate on its own is pretty powerful, but I think it's really best experienced and kind of designed with MPE in mind. So having an MPE controller like this Sensol Morph here is really where this thing opens up for a lot of fun sound design sessions. I've had a lot of time wasted just playing around with Generate and exploring the various things it does. But one of my favorite things that really kind of kicks this into high gear is the random button. We can just hit this and instantly randomize the patch. And just keep doing that. And I think you get the idea. That is one of my favorite features of this synth. I always love things that allow me to take a bit of randomization and throw it at it and see what comes out the other side. So now the question is, how does Generate actually work in practice rather than being just a synth to pull up and noodle with? Generate has a lot of really great factory presets to get started with and use as a starting point. And obviously the randomization parameter thing is a fun way to also generate some new sounds that you can play with and morph. But the factory presets cover a lot of ground. There are a lot of different sound designers, including Robert Dudzik, who is like one of my personal heroes who has a great YouTube channel you should check out, by the way. So there's plenty to get you started with if you've never worked with a synth like this before to help get to grips with how it works and how to start getting sounds out of it. In this track here, I just went through and used a variety of the factory presets and was really quickly able to start putting out something and then just went in and made a couple basic patches myself with the MPE functions for just a little bit more expressiveness and movement to the whole thing. And I was able to create a whole cinematic track in only a couple of minutes. So let's take a listen to the sound of Generate in practice.
Literally every sound you heard in that entire composition is just generate. There's nothing else going on to synthesize those sounds. And with some really minimal mixing, really just a handful of EQs, some compressors, and then a couple creative effects from Triad here, and really basic mastering, that was the entire track. And I think that makes this a really powerful tool for doing music in this style or just adding some really cool morphing, twisting, expressive sounds to your music, no matter what genre you might be making. This thing is awesome for wicked twisting basses. It's cool for dynamic fluid pads. It's a lot of fun for leads that just kind of rip your ears off and just about everything in between. And that is a brief look at Generate from Newfangled Audio. I think this thing is a hell of a lot of fun. It sounds incredible. And if you own an MPE controller, I would say this is one of those synths you just need to own to just get the mileage out of it. It's so fun to explore with MPE. And I think being designed more or less with MPE in mind has facilitated this being a very cool instrument to play around with. So a big thank you to Newfangled Audio for hooking me up with Generate. This thing is a lot of fun and I'm definitely gonna be using it a lot in the future, especially for some of the other projects I'm working on at the moment. And I think you should totally go check this thing out and play around with it. If all else, you can pick up the free Pendulate, which also supports MPE and is equally fun. It doesn't quite have all the features of Generate, but it is kind of the same idea and is still a lot of fun. And so that wraps everything up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. As always, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again soon.